let's go over the failure trade. It's one of my favorite setups um, that um, in the trade room. We had one yesterday uh, that Lisa pointed out. I've been uh, pointing these out to you in the room. Uh, this one is not uh, a failure now because it just went through. My small oscillator went through the bare line of 65. So we don't have one that, that is there. So I'll take this off. We'll look for the next one. So what is a failure trade? It's one of my favorite setups uh, over the past 30 years that I developed. And um, we've been getting a lot of them this week. In fact, the NASDAQ futures, if you trade the NASDAQ futures, you, you get usually around 10, gosh, 10, maybe uh, 12, 13, 14 a day um, on the NASDAQ futures, de de depending what uh, they are. Um, here's one right here this morning. Let's go over what it is. Uh, let's, let's take a look at the uh, uh, what it is here real quick. So here's a failure trade that was run this morning uh, uh, pre, um, this is pre-market uh, opening on the New York. What a failure trade is, we, we have our zones, right? Our zones have been back tested for 30 years, all right? Uh, we, we, one of our members used an artificial intelligence program and uh, with our zones and was able to back test these zones for 30 years. So we know the zones are very, very accurate on reversing price. So if it's a green zone, we're looking for a continuation to the upside. We're looking for a buy setup. In other words, we're looking for this to come up and come through our bear zone here, the small oscillator of 65 to pull us in. Well, what happens is if it doesn't, then we're looking for a possible failure trade. We're looking for a move to the other side or the downside, right? Hold on one sec, guys. There we go. I just traded the thing here real quick. Real quick. There we go. Hold on one second. Okay, so one second here. There we go. Okay, so what we want to see happen here is we want to see uh, our big oscillator. Once our big oscillator gets through, our big oscillator gets through the bull zone of 40. I have a lot of videos on this already for you to look at. That's my bull zone of 40. So if it gets below 40, I'm looking, and we get down into the green zone, I'm looking for a failure trade or a slingshot. A failure trade is a failed slingshot. So once the market retraces and get, gets back up, once it retraces and gets back up, and it holds that bull, uh, that bear zone, it holds this bear zone, the small oscillator. Once that holds that bear zone, then you got a reversal for a failure trade. Okay, so the failure trades work really well like this. Here's another failure trade right there. So let's go and let's look at this. Um, let's take a look at uh, the, these are some trades this morning on the NQ, one second. So this is a slingshot trade. So a slingshot trade is where you come down to my zone and we're looking for continuations, right? So these are slingshot trades this morning after the open. So what a slingshot trade is this, is that you come down and you get below 80 on the small oscillator and you, and you get right back above, you get below 80 and you get back above my bear zone of 65. That should pull you in the market for that big move up. We get below 80, pull back above the bear zone, get below 80, Pull back a bear zone. So that's a that, that's called a slingshot trade, right? That sets up the trade, right? That's a slingshot trade right there. That's a slingshot trade, right? You're pulling yourself in. Here's a slingshot trade. You get below, I'm sorry, 20, and get right back above that uh, um, 65 slingshot trade, right? What happens is when you come down the zone, then here. We come to this a failure trade here, one of my favorite setups. You come down the zone, and my small oscillator does not get, it gets below 20, but does not get below my bear zone of 65. What happens then? Well, you get a failure trade, and this is your entry right there. You get a lot of these during the day. Now, this is a fast market right now. Well, it's in queue, so if you, if you don't want to trade fast markets, uh, make your time frame bigger. Rinko size. Oops, get this off here. 
So that's a failure trade to the upside. So here's a failure trade to the downside, I'm sorry, because what happened, you come down the zone, come down to that zone, you're supposed to you're supposed to see the slingshot, the small oscillator go below my 80 and jet right back through 65, my bear zone, right, for the buy. Well, if the oscillator stays pegged and does not get it back above 65, and the big tells your big oscillator gets below 40, so that's that's the two criteria. The big oscillator first has to get through 40 for sells. And if I come down my zone, you watch a small oscillator. If it doesn't get back above 65, and you get green bars and then the first red bar reversal, that's a short. Just like this is a buy failure. I love these failure trades. They come up all day long. They're one of my most favorite setups I've seen the last 30 years. They are, they're, they're really neat on picking price action. You get above, your oscillator gets above 65 then, which it has to when I buy. Your small oscillator has to stay above 40 right there. And then you get the reversal for the failure trade there also. So you get a lot of them on the NQ. All right, I love trading that NQ. If you're trading the NQ, the, the best price action to look for is the um, is the 120, 125. I love those two Rinko sizes. I've actually been looking uh, at the 113 also uh, on those setups. So look at the big short that Lisa pointed out yesterday in the room. And if you notice, I've been pointing out these before they come up, and I'm going to try to do that for you again today uh, on failure trades. So when you come down to the zone, right, the idea between the, be, behind the zones is so you don't counter trend trade the market. So if our zones are green, we're trying to buy retracements. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to buy, buy, buy retracements. So what you try to do is you get this small oscillator, the thin uh, magenta line you want on if the zones are green you want to get below 20 and come back up through my bear zone of 65 to pull yourself in for this push-up that's the idea getting in right there at the high of that Rinko would be around 4400 got as high as what 44 as a 19 S&P point move potential right there yesterday 1045 to 1145 what happens is when you come down for the next slingshot, so that's a slingshot trade entry here. It's one of my favorite setups also. Slingshots, I have four setups in the trade room. Slingshots and failures, two of my favorite trades. Then the small oscillator gets below 80 again and cuts back up through my 65 again. Another slingshot entry for a move up. Another big trade. My oscillator doesn't get below 80, no slingshot. Doesn't get below, I'm sorry, 20, no slingshot. Gets below 20 here for a slingshot, right? But look look what happens is my large oscillator weakens the market. It now gets below my bear zone, the large oscillator. This is the tail sign right here. This is how Lisa picked it up yesterday. Good job, Lisa, picking these up. It gets below right there, below 40. Now it's telling me watch the small oscillator. The small oscillator is either going to be a slingshot or it's going to be a it's going to be a slingshot or it's going to be a what? it's going to be a failure. The small oscillator does not get above 65 and I turn red bar reversal. There is your short, your failure trade. And the market proceeds to tank. Just a beautiful short to the downside. So that's what we'll look for today. We'll look for, you know, if you look today, we, we came in, we came into a slingshot buy here this morning. If my zones are green. It got below if the zones are green, you want the oscillator to get below 20 and then cut back up through my bear zone of 65. So here's your first one. The high is 4402, potential buy. Got as high as what? Almost 010. So that was 10, I think, that high right there. So that was 8 S&P point, potential move. Then we get down to another slingshot, get below 20, back to my bear zone, another slingshot buy. Then we get back below 20 again, my oscillator, get back above 65, and this was what, 44.06, and it's been high as 44, almost 11, so almost a 5 S&P point move there. So we've not, we haven't had a failure trade today. We've had slingshot trades, one, two, three in a row. So I'll stop the failure trades for you guys here this morning. 
we are in between the profile. Uh, we did have news that came out this morning. We, remember, you have a lot of slingshots off of the NQ, okay? If you want to run the NQ, you're going to get a lot of slingshot setups, a lot of failure trade setups. If, if I was new to the trading room, I would only trade two setups. I would trade the failure setup, and I would trade the slingshot setup. Because a failure trade is a failed slingshot setup, and a slingshot trade is just a continuation of trend with the zones. Then when you get good at that, you can get in the first wave up, my first wave up, and then the Momo setup. Because the failure trades are extremely accurate with zones. Okay? So we're choppy this morning because market profile. It's a choppy morning this morning. So let's take a look at profile. If I can move away, if I can move away from this zone, from the high value area, so if I can get away from this and cut through this 12 level, we got a breakout, and then our breakdown will be, uh, what, 43.92 this morning, and our breakout will be 44.12. They may be, uh, remember, the, the Fed, let's take a look at the news event coming up. It's best that you look into, so here's a failure trade setting up right now. Let's watch this develop. There's one right here on the NQ. Love these failure setups on the NQ. Look at this thing. They just have energy, guys. So the NQ, and then we'll look at the news, it came down to the green zone, right? Well, your large oscillator, how you set up a failure trade is very simple. There's your large oscillator getting through 40. So it's looking for a slingshot. The small oscillator has to get back up through 65. It does not. My large oscillator is below 40, setting up for a failure. You look for the first, you look for green reversal bars to catch the rolling position traders on a failure trade. There's your entry right there on the NQ this morning. Just happened, 55 and 3 quarters, potential down to 47. So the failure trades are one of my favorite trades in the trade room, all right? The slingshot trades go right with it because you're down into a green zone. If, this os if, if your large oscillator gets below 40, you're looking for a failure right away. If this slingshot does not get through 65 bare zone and you get a, a red bar reversal, there's your, there's your failure trade. All right, this happens over and over and over again on the NQ. Like I said, you'll get 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 of these a day, sometimes more. Now, this is a faster Rinko. That's a 118.18, a 120.20, 125.25. You can slow it down by going higher. So if you want to slow this price action down, you just go to a higher Rinko bar. So let's say I want to slow price action down. What I do is I go to a higher Rinko, and then I can slow it down if, it's, if the NQ is too fast. So what I can do now is I can look for the same exact setups. My stop's going to increase a little bit because I'm going to a higher Rinko, where price action slows down considerably. So now, when price action slows considerably, you can look for uh, slingshot trades and failure trades. It's a slingshot trade right here. My zones are red. It happened at 9.39 this morning, 9.40, time of day trade, which I like to see big setups. This time I get above 80, and I get through my bull zone of 45, or 40, sorry, and I get a big, see the big move in the market? Just a nice big sustained move in the market right there. So failure trades happen here too. That's a slingshot. I'll show you a failure trade. Let's see one. They happen on the larger Rinko sizes also. Here's a failure trade. So here's a failure trade on my Rinko size, 841 this morning on a 125.25. So this is a slingshot. I get, uh, not a slingshot, I'm sorry, I didn't get above 80, so that wasn't a slingshot. But this try to do a slingshot, try to get to my bear zone. Zone was red. The large oscillator got above 65, which is the number one requirement. And then my small oscillator has to stay above 40 bull. Remember, for buys, the large oscillator has to go above 65 bear, and my small oscillator has to stay above 40 bull. You want to see red bars in the first green bar, and there's a nice move uh, 
11. This actually was a buy this morning that I had uh, 311.50 to 321.5. And then if you had runners, um, you still would have had a big move to the upside. Uh, this is what I'm testing for you guys also. Uh, this is the strategy right here um, that is buying and selling uh, for the, uh, the indicator strategy that we'll be releasing also. I have an automated strategy running where like this was the this morning this is a bear I mean a I have this on the failure trade on a strategy right now see the toggle switch is a failure I have that running and it picked up that big failure trade here this morning 